GMA Parenting Alert. Now I'm going to try this walk thing that you mastered. Yeah, do it. Work it. I'm going to walk over here. Good to have you with us this morning. First time with us, Dr. Edith Bracho Sanchez. And you've got more on this study overnight. And it's really interesting, especially with, with families getting ready to take their kids back uh, to school in the next coming uh, weeks. Uh, what was most alarming to you? Because this involves children and sleep and the real dangers if they're not getting as much sleep as they need. Absolutely. So this is a study of 4,500 children in London. What they did is they recorded how many hours of sleep they got every night. They also recorded their BMI, their body mass index levels, as well as several different blood measurements. What they found is that children who on average sleep one hour less per night had what we know typically to be increased levels of risk for development of type 2 diabetes. So just one hour less increases the risk. One hour, exactly. What's the real worry going forward though for, for kids if they don't get them the sleep they need? So we know that American children are not getting the sleep that they need. We also know from previous studies that this has been correlated with significant risks to their health, right. including decreased performance at school, irritability, mood and behavior issues, as well as hypertension. And now we're going to add one more to that list, David, one more and thing. that is type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes, really, really important because we think about it as adults, but the same sort of risk factors are there for the children too. Absolutely. So let's, let's help folks at home. What do we do about it? How do you help the kids? So what I tell my families that come to my clinic is this. Sleep is just as important as physical activity and eating healthy, right? So you really have to make it a family priority. And the first thing, the place where we start is getting electronics out of the room. We know from previous studies that electronics in the room has been linked to diminished quality of sleep at night for children. But do you have the crew like we do to come in and take out all the electronic products? we got a whole team here. They're just going to get rid of everything. Check this room out. So we have yeah. a laptop. We have an iPad. We have a Nintendo. And they don't look very happy about it. <laughs> the kids aren't going to be happy and either. Really, the, the one thing that I really, really want to stress, if you take nothing else away from children, the thing that you have to take away is their phone. Kids are telling me in, their, in my clinic that they're staying up late, they are texting their friends until 2 or 3 in the morning. Thank you very much for volunteering this phone. This is really going to make a difference for your children. It makes a difference because they're texting when you don't know it, obviously, in the, into the wee hours of the morning, it, and it keeps them up. Absolutely. And it's really been linked to diminished quality of sleep and all of the other health factors that we talked about. All right, Dr. Edith Bracho Sanchez, great to have you on the program. Thank and you so much. Tips, especially with school. Can I have my phone back? If I can take this away, <laughs> you parents can do this. That's right. <laughs>